As Republicans in Congress move to repeal the Affordable Care Act, Democrats are moving toward Medicare for All, a single-payer plan that builds on Medicare and would cover everyone at far lower cost. And at a far lower quality of care. Yes, and also, if a single-payer system would lower costs, why is it that health care prices began to skyrocket after Medicare and Medicaid were instituted in the 1960s? Could it be that market equilibrium is distorted in favor of higher prices when the state becomes the number one purchaser of a service and the industry is incentivized to respond to the spending capabilities of a massive bloated government as opposed to your average consumer? No, of course not. The private market is at fault. More government, please. Most House Democrats are already supporting a Medicare for All bill. Senator Bernie Sanders is preparing to introduce it in the Senate. Both California and New York State are moving toward single-payer plans. I admire that he's including arguments against his position, but why didn't he follow it up with a response in favor? With health care emerging as the public's top concern, according to recent polls, the choice between repeal of the Affordable Care Act and Medicare for All is likely to be the major domestic issue in the presidential campaign of 2020, other than getting Trump out of office if he lasts that long. And the better choice is clear. Mm. Private for-profit insurers spend a fortune trying to attract healthy people while avoiding the sick and needy. Yes, and auto insurance companies spend a fortune trying to attract customers who haven't wrecked their car. Because the literal definition of insurance is it's something you buy when you don't need it in case you do need it later. Yes, there should be some kind of infrastructure in place to help those without insurance to get some form of charitable health care. But we shouldn't give them health insurance because if everyone was able to purchase health insurance after they started having issues, no one would bother paying for it when they were healthy. And healthy people who don't need medical treatment paying into the system is the only thing that keeps it afloat. If health insurance companies didn't market to healthy people, they would cease to exist. And none of their clients would ever get treatment. Filling out paperwork from hospitals and providers, paying top executives, and rewarding shareholders. Imagine if instead of CEOs, executives, and shareholders who have some accountability to consumers and have to keep the company afloat if they want a job in the future, this system instead had to support bloated, unaccountable bureaucracies and politicians who would spend against it and pass the problem on to whoever was in office next. And for-profit insurers are merging like mad in order to make even more money. Or maybe it's because it's more difficult to skirt regulations as a small company, and the government makes it so insanely difficult for businesses to operate in red tape-heavy industries, and therefore incentivizes this kind of merging. These are among the major reasons why health insurance is becoming so expensive, and why almost every other advanced nation, including our neighbor to the north, has adopted some form of a single-payer system at less cost per person and with better health outcomes. I would condescendingly ask for a citation if I didn't know he was flat out wrong. Yes, to compare ourselves to Canada, is waiting extended periods for a specialist more than twice as often a better outcome? Is four times as many people having to wait more than four months for an emergency surgery a better outcome? Is more than 60,000 citizens leaving your country to obtain health care in another country a better outcome? Is being ranked seventh in the world instead of first in terms of overall quality of service a better outcome? Indeed, it's true that our healthcare system has problems, and we can spend all day debating why that may be. But according to the World Health Organization's ratings of overall health service performance, the U.S. ranks number one for quality of care. Yes, our health insurance is more expensive. Things that are better tend to be. Dare you say our health care is better? Dare I do. In fact, our health care system is so much better than those of other nations that its mere presence improves their system's quality. Now you're just being hyperbolic. Am I? Of the nearly 3,000 articles published in biomedical research each year, 40% of them came from the U.S. 
And of the 296,000 clinical trials running worldwide, 118,000 of them are conducted in the U.S. That's more than all of Europe and China combined. Most Americans support Medicare for all. According to a Gallup poll conducted in May, a majority would like to see a single-payer system implemented. Yes, and most people are also dreadfully misinformed. And that isn't a coincidence either. For example, 47% of Americans believe they'd be able to keep their current health insurance plans if the United States adopted a single-payer system. Yet, according to any of the single-payer proposals advocated by the Democrats, they wouldn't. Now, who could be responsible for convincing the American people that even under a government-run health insurance program, they'd still be able to keep their current health insurance? If you like your doctor, you will be able to keep your doctor. Period. If you like your health care plan, you will be able to keep your health care plan. Period. An April survey from The Economist YouGov showed 60% of Americans in favor of expanding Medicare to providing health insurance to every American. It's why I moved into a bunker to avoid them. That includes nearly half of people who identify themselves as Republican. If congressional Republicans gut the Affordable Care Act, the American public will be presented with a real choice ahead. Either expensive health care for a few, or affordable health care for the many. If you consider increasing wait times, sabotaging quality of care, stultifying important medical research that the rest of the world depends upon, and of course, eliminating free choice, to be an affordable sacrifice to make? I suppose you could say all that with a straight face. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the content I'm producing and you find it valuable, please consider donating at subscribestar.com slash freedomtunes to help me continue to create for you. Thank you so much.